Oliver, something terrible happened to me. Last summer, like you do, I put a large deposit in a bank in Cyprus, because where else would you want to bank besides Cyprus? And I woke up the next morning, and I didn't have a deposit anymore. I had shares in a bank from Cyprus. This was a pretty bad outcome. Have things gotten any better for me? Well, I'm terribly sorry you've had this awful problem, but things are about to get better, mm. rest assured. These uh, unlisted shares that you own now in Bank of Cyprus are going to be relisted on the 16th of December. So at that point, you and anyone else who had deposits in Bank of Cyprus that were converted into shares will be free to sell them as you please. Uh, so am I whole again now? I'm back where I started, at least. No, probably not. If For every one euro of deposits, you've got one share in Bank of Cyprus. Now, based on the price of a share issue that's taking place simultaneously, those shares might start trading at about 24 cents. So right. you're sitting on a big loss if you decide to sell straight away. Very good, then. Uh, I have no idea what question I'm going to ask. I've just gone completely blank. Sorry about that. So is that was a good answer. So what was the next question? Oh, so should I leave my money in it, then? Oh, right. Good. Sorry about that. Should I just commence? Yes. Should I leave my money in, then? Well, there are good reasons, too. Bank of Cyprus under John Hurricane, the relatively new chief executive, is, is sorting itself out slowly but surely. Most importantly, it's sorting out its balance sheet. So it did a, a 1 billion euro capital raising in, in September. That strengthened the balance sheet and also allowed it to pass the European stress test. So from that perspective, it's doing OK. Uh, and it's got some big names. Uh, John Hurricane's a, a good guy in charge. Joseph Ackerman is on the board. Uh, Wilbur Ross has come in as a shareholder, so some real names in the banking world have put money into Bank of Cyprus. And maybe they see the big profits that have been made by hedge funds who have invested elsewhere in, in peripheral European banks and, and think, well, that's, that's potentially what they could do at Bank of Cyprus. Well, now I'm thinking about doubling down, right? You've made the case for Bank of Cyprus as a kind of recapitalized European recovery play. Mm. So, uh, we yeah, I'd, I'd maybe, I'd maybe <laughs> hold off on removing deposits from another bank and, and putting it into to Bank of Cyprus shares. Cyprus is still in the recession. Bank mm. of Cyprus is still very troubled. 60% of its loans are troubled in some way or mm. non-performing loans in some way. So it's still a very kind of distressed situation that, that it's slowly, slowly working through. And Cyprus is still in recession. It's got a big market share in Cyprus, 40% market share of loans. Mm. So it really needs the Cypriot economy to recover. That may or may not happen next year. It's very unclear at the moment. Well, that settles it. I'm taking my money and putting it in a bank in the Maldives. Thanks, all. All the best with that.